Welcome to the garage. I'm Robert, and this is Haslip Psycho Works. Today, we've got two things going on. First, we're going to do a little status update on Project Mini Bike, and then we're going to do a new project announcement. So, first off, Project Mini Bike. Project Mini Bike is fine, still fires up on the first or second pull, runs amazingly well, still very fast, lights still work, trailer still works awesome. The only thing I really could call an issue is with the exhaust. It's not with the header tube, but with the pit bike muffler. Um, the way it's constructed is there's a metal sleeve that gets welded on the header. And then there's a, another sleeve that is an interference fit for the muffler. And what happens is they've actually glued it with JB Weld or something, or something similar to that. So as it vibrates and gets hot, it'll back out and fall off. Now I've tried to drill through the muffler and those slip fittings and run a set screw in it. And that's worked for a little bit but no matter what you put on the set screws they back out and then the muffler falls off so what I may do is cut the pit bike muffler off and put one of the more standard mini bike mufflers on it not a big deal uh, maybe 20 minutes worth of work just need to order the muffler and get it done I'm also going to have to uh, wrap the exhaust because it does get rather hot especially on those longer runs and I've been burned a couple times by it so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that while I've got the exhaust off the mini bike. I've decided not to put the torque converter back on the mini bike and here's why. Um, with the clutch takes off, takeoffs are manageable pretty much for anyone new riders experienced riders all the same the torque converter on Project Mini Bike. Um, takeoffs, not so manageable. Uh, even when you expect it, it still surprises you and it still lifts that front wheel off the ground and tries to dump you on your butt. So, since I'm planning on selling this project um, to fund the project I'll introduce here soon, I want to make it so that it's easier to ride for someone because I'm not sure who's going to purchase this. I don't know if it's going to be an adult or you know, um, teenager, you know, who knows. So I don't want to make it too unsafe. Plus that gives whoever purchases it something else that they can do. They can install the torque converter later on. They can keep the clutch on it. They, you know, I want to leave a little bit there for them to play with. So we're going to keep the centrifugal clutch clutch has been working fine no issues what I do want to do is put a tensioner on it for the chain and then some sort of chain guard I've had the chain pop off a couple times and I think it's because it stretches under load and it's a pretty long unsupported length of chain so with the tensioner that should take care of that and in case it does jump and throw the chain I'll have the chain guard on it so no one will get hurt so i'm gonna do a couple more episodes on project mini bike get those little items taken care of and then she'll be up for sale so uh look forward to seeing that and uh she'll be up on craigslist and facebook yeah so we'll be saying goodbye to the project mini bike soon but we've got something new coming in well Something new to start, rather. We're going to get off the weld table, and I'm going to unbox this for you so that you can see what we're working with. So, once Project Mini Bike is sold off, I'm going to take the money from that, and we're going to put into this project. Um, the motor and all the parts that are going to be needed for this. Now, a little background on what's in this box. Um, I follow a few people on Instagram that build and uh, 
restore and soup up mini bikes and mini trikes and quads and all that. I stumbled upon this individual. His Instagram account name is Metal Fab Creations. So it's kind of a play on words. Uh, if you say it fast, Metal Fabrications. So pretty, pretty neat name. Um, this guy was selling mini bikes and trikes and flipping go-karts and pit bikes and everything and I started noticing that he was actually building frames and he had this really cool uh, mini trike that uh, it was actually a mini bike frame that he had produced where you could build it as a mini bike or a mini trike. It was wide enough in the rear and had the axle su bearing supports that you could use for a mini bike or an axle for a go-kart so you could turn into a mini trike. He was selling the frames and he also had full ready-to-go bikes as well. It caught my eye. So I messaged him on Instagram and uh, his name is Robert Hammond. Pretty cool guy. I've talked to him a lot and asked him what the deal was with the frames. You know, what, what was the price and dimensions and that sort of thing. And what really killed him was he could get the frame built and ready to go and you just put your parts on it but what was killing him was shipping he, he couldn't get them out to people you know to ship a fully prepped mini bike frame you're going to pay out the nose for it because you're going to have to build a pallet to put it on you're going to have to attach it and protect it and and then actually get it to the shipping location and huge pain in the butt so we kind of talked back and forth and asked him, you know, have you ever considered maybe changing where you cut the tube for the frame to make it fit in a small box? That way you could ship it to someone and it could be a DIY weld kit. Well, he did. And that's what we have here. We have one of Metal Fab Creations mini trike slash mini bike kits. It's a frame kit. And it's in a box. You pull it out, you clean it up, and you, you weld it together. And then you throw your running gear on, your motor, and whatever, and away you go. This is actually serial number, uh, I believe it's 0001. Uh, we'll verify that. So I'm honored. Uh, thanks, Robert. I, I appreciate it. I'm glad we could help each other out. So what we're going to do is we'll unbox this, and we'll see what we're working with. But this will be a whole new build series for Hassle of Cycle Works. Yeah, so I'll put up links to all his information down in the description. And if you're interested in one of those, definitely give him a look. He, he's got some cool stuff going on. Like I said, fits in a box. It's not a complete mini bike. So if you're more of the DIY kind of person, like we are here, this is the ticket. All right, enough talking. Let's get it unboxed and see what we got. Initial thoughts, it's packaged well, he's got everything taped up and labeled, everything looks like it was safe, it's all pre-notched, the ends are clean, everything's pre-bent. Alright, let's get it out of here completely and we'll put it on this fiber board so we can get a good look at it. Hope you can see that uh, MFC from Metal Fab Creations 0001. 
that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> that is really cool. Uh, can't wait to get this thing together. This is going to be awesome. Well, that looks like it's it. Everything came unharmed. Everything looks good. Uh, everything was present and accounted for. Um, but you can see how he's cut it so that it'll fit in that box. Saves big time on the hassle and the cost for shipping. And gives you an opportunity to be proud of it because you can put it together yourself. Now, I will tell you that the frame kits that he produces, they sit low and they are stretched compared to, say, a doodle bug. These things are sweet. Really wide in the rear so that you can fit a big tire or can facilitate putting a um, live axle kit in and making a trike and it's really stable. So I can't wait to get started on this. Thanks again, Rob. This is gonna be awesome. And uh, something else that he throws in, which a lot of people don't do, is he's got his instructions here. But what really sets him apart, and you can see how by this picture here, how stretched out and low it's gonna sit. Uh, everything's in color. Who does that? I mean, that that's an awesome touch. I mean, every little part, every little step of the way, recommended tools, measurements, diagrams for everything. Everything's here. Um, this is gonna go together quick and easy, I can tell you already, just by looking at the instructions. He's got everything cut, and he does this all himself in his garage. He bends, cuts, notches, and preps all the tubing. Other than his wife, he is a one-man show. Here lately, business has been picking up for him because he's able to send these out to people like us who want to build our own. Definitely give him a look. He's one of those guys that deserves the spotlight. He's killing it. He's doing this in his garage and hooking us up. So, again, Metal Fab Creations. I'll put all his contact information in the description. When I get started on this, I'm going to document the entire process. I'm going to give him any feedback that I feel is noteworthy. But we're going to put this thing together, and it is going to be awesome. And we are going to build it as a trike. It will be Predator-powered, more than likely a fully built 212. And it will have a torque converter. And it's going to be low. It's going to be mean. It's going to be fast. So stay tuned for that. Again, Robert, awesome job, man. This this looks great. I can't wait to get going on it. And for you to give me serial number one, man, that, that's an honor. That's an honor and a half. I, uh, this is going to be great. Yeah, anyone interested, check him out. But... I'll keep you guys posted, and this is the first part of a build series for this. It will be a trike, and let's see what we can do with it. Until next time, guys, get up, get out there, and do it.